Okay, so, two S. So far we've looked at our dramatic performances in drama, our music and dance, and we've been improvising the whole time. But what am I forgetting? Something else, something else that we could be looking at. Hmm, what could it be? That's right, our visual arts. So, we're at the ocean, we're doing visual arts, and we're improvising. Now, Pugly told me that he wants a special treat. What was it you wanted, Pugly? I want something to remember my trip to the ocean by. I want a nice artwork that represents the ocean and the trip that we've had. So, Pugly wants us to make an artwork for him, using our visual art skills, improvising, so that he can remember the ocean. Now, when I look at the ocean behind us, what are some things that you notice? That's right, different colours. But, do we have different colours behind us? That's, that's an excellent point. Not necessarily do we have different colours, but we have different shades of the same colour. So I have my lighter blue to represent that we're closer to the sun at the top of the ocean. And as we get deeper and deeper and deeper, our colours get darker. So, we're going to produce an artwork for Pugly to remember this day from that works very much like this. We're going to use our blues and our different shades to represent how deep into the ocean we went. And we might, as we've been looking at, use lines to represent the change as we get deeper and deeper, or what are some other things we've been looking at? We were doing some indigenous dot painting, so we might use that as well to represent our different colours rather than using lines. But what would I use? I've got some pencils here, some watercolour pencils, I've got some gel crayons, and I've got my watercolours. What do you guys think that I would use here? Do you think I'd use my gel crayons to, to do a representation of the ocean? No? Why not? That's right, because of my gel crayons, I've only got one blue. Only one shade of blue. What about, I've got a lot more shades of blue here, don't I? I've got a dark blue and a light blue. So would I use my watercolour pencils? Maybe. But, you're all saying I should use my watercolours. Why? Because I have five different shades of blue. And what do I have up here? One, two, three, four. Five different shades of blue. I think this would be excellent. Now, what you're all going to do is you're going to use your imagination to produce an artwork for Pugly to remember the ocean by and the five different layers of the ocean. So, just like behind me here, if I was using lines, I might want to use my watercolours to show the different layers. So, that would be my second layer, and I would use my another layer here, and I would use another layer here. Now what you might notice there is that my layer in between these two is a bit lighter than the one above and below it. So, if I was trying to remember that we went from the top of the ocean all the way to the bottom, maybe I'd change that order there. Or maybe I wouldn't. It is up to you. So it gets darker and darker as we go down. And I'm using lines and I can overlap my colours as well to create interesting patterns and show a more gradual change in colour as we get lower and lower towards the deep, dark areas of the ocean. And I'm going to remember, because I'm using my watercolours here, that the wetter my colour, the lighter my colour, and the drier my colour when I apply my water paints, the darker. So I can create some nice, interesting patterns that way. So if I wanted to create a representation using lines for Pugly, I could do something like this. I don't know. What do you think?
I think that looks quite good. Pugly? Oh, Pugly thinks that looks quite good too. And say we wanted to experiment with some different shapes. Maybe I would get a thinner paintbrush and remembering back to our indigenous watercolors we, could, we did, I could do some dot paints. So I could put some blue dots on the page and then as I get lower and lower down my page and darker and darker, I can change the color of my dots to get darker and darker and even overlap some of the same shades in with each other at the sections where we change to a different color to represent that we're getting lower and lower. In my darker areas, I could use larger circles to represent that I'm going deeper and deeper, and I could keep going like that until we got to the bottom of the ocean. So, if I kept going like that, I'd produce an artwork the same that represented the ocean and the changes in color. So now I want you all to use your imagination, give that a go, and do a visual artwork for Pugly, improvising, that represents the ocean.